Hey guys, welcome back. So before we start decorating, I want to make some DIY candles. So guys, um, Pottery Barn sells this beautiful pumpkin candle and also Target. Target sells some beautiful amber glass candles. And of course, those are both out of my price range, so I decided to DIY them. So I did thrift this container here, this pumpkin container, last year after fall. So I even forgot I had it. I think I paid like three dollars for it and when I seen it I was excited because I knew I can DIY my own candle so the candle there is from Bath and Body Works I did buy it last year and I used one of those plates that warm up for candles the ones you plugged in I don't even know what they're called but the wicks they were not good anymore so I decided to melt it down and use it for one of my DIY candles so these candles are from Dollar Tree they're the dollar candles well dollar 25 now I picked up six I decided to use three on each candle which if I could do this all over again I think I would have used four each but anyways what you got to do is you got to melt them down while they're melting you just keep pressing down until they're completely melted now you got to do it really slow on medium heat until they're completely melted and then I mixed the pumpkin scent and three candles and then the leaves and three others now I did reuse the wicks once I mixed them I poured them in their containers so again this is my first time making these candles so it was a bit messy but for the most part I do love the way they came out So I had to use sticks for this this bowl because it was so big. I did use chopsticks for my pumpkin one. This one, the chopsticks were just too small. So you can use whatever sticks, pencils, whatever you have. Um, like I said, this one I had to use sticks, but I did reuse the wicks and then um, I just poured them in there. I do apologize though. I didn't get footage of me pouring the wax into the pumpkin container. For some reason my camera just stopped recording i don't know what happened but it just stopped recording but i do apologize for that so after i poured in the wax i did let them sit overnight now you don't have to let them sit overnight you could give them at least four hours i just let them sit overnight just as long as they're dry and then you can cut the wicks to where you want them and they are ready to use by the way guys you smell amazing i love the way they came out Okay, now that the candles are ready, let's start decorating, but first I'm going to wipe everything down. Ninety percent of my home decor is thrifted. I love thrifting home decor just because you can find unique pieces and for a good price. But sometimes I do buy new. I splurge on new items because I know that that's something I really want. And I save a lot of money on thrifting so I can splurge once in a while. But like I said, I only splurge on items that I know that I'm going to keep for a long time. I love Pottery Barn. I love restoration hardware. That's a big reason of why I thrift because I could get the look for less. But sometimes I do find the originals. For instance, that black vessel, I found it at Goodwill for $5, but it was orange. It didn't go with my decor, but I brought it home and I spray painted it. Now, if I would have seen it at Pottery Barn, I wouldn't have even picked it up because 
first of all, it's not the color, and I'm not gonna wanna spray paint something I paid a lot of money for. my god i cannot believe i just did that i'm just glad nothing fell oh my goodness So I do move things around and you'll see at the end of the video, but this is what it looked like before I moved things around. So a couple of months ago, my neighbor was trimming her tree. I think she said it was a ficus tree. And um, I asked her for a, a large branch because I wanted to cut some branches to put for spring. But I forgot about it. And it was on the side of the house and it dried up so beautiful. So I am using it for my fall decor now. So I do like it, but I don't love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some layers. I do have another um, tablecloth. Well, it's a curtain, but I can use it as a tablecloth. It's a beautiful linen curtain. I'm gonna go ahead and use it, and yeah, why not? At this point, I did decide to do a tablescape, and I did do a little tweaks here and there. I changed up some of the stuff. You'll see at the end. So the napkin rings and the cloth napkins I did thrift after I did my fall haul 
and they are so pretty they are brass and those napkins those cloth ones they're a beautiful burnt orange color I loved them and I did find eight of them so I did wash them the napkin rings I didn't want to take off too much of the patina so I did a light wash with vinegar and baking soda and the napkin cloth napkins I did wash with vinegar So my husband had bought me these beautiful pine trees and they dried up so I'm gonna get some use out of them they were expensive so here is the finished look and I know I didn't add a lot of pumpkins but guys I wanted to use color and texture and candlelight in my fall decor and um, I'm still looking for my pottery barn dupe pumpkins but until then I did keep a couple of my favorites and I did use a couple here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you for my next fall video. But for now, I'm going to go sit down and enjoy my cup of coffee. See you guys next time. Bye.